Hello, my name is David TV and I'm going to show you how to add the Facebook chat button to your website. If you can look in the right hand corner of, of the screen right now, and of course follow the bouncing ball, highlighter makes it a little easier to see. What we're going to do is I'm going to explain to you and show you how to add this Facebook chat button to your agent website. So there's a little prep work that I'm going to ask that you do if you got a piece of paper. Um, please write this down. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have three tabs open. Number one, this is my this is my um, business page here. You want to have your Facebook business page open and ready to go. You want it at the this this screen here. Second, you want to have your dashboard. This is my demo dashboard here. So. Your company name will be, of course, up in the uh, left-hand corner, and you will note that your name will be in the right-hand corner with your photo. Okay, so have those that open, as well as have your agent website open. Now, if you're new, you can actually go to Site Builder right here, and go to Website, and select and open it, and that will open up this here. What we're going to be using, what you're going to be using, is Facebook Book is going to be wanting a domain name. This is called a subdomain name. You may have a custom domain name for your agent website or office website. But what you want to do is have those three open and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this from my tabs. And what we want to do is you're going to go directly over and let's go ahead and generate the code from Facebook. So I'm at the business, you're at your business page here. And on the left hand side, you're going to select right there inbox. So I'm going to select inbox with my left mouse button. You're going to come down to on the left hand side where it says chat plugin. I'm going to select chat plugin. And follow it. It says set up your chat plugin right there, and you can hit setup. Now, before I continue, if you notice over on the right hand side, you can you can change the color, and those are down in this area here. So you have the opportunity, you have the options to be able to change the color. You can minimize, um, you can expand it when it opens up. So in other words, the chat this here could either start off this way right here in the right hand corner or it can expand when someone goes to your website so you have that those are down here and you can even ask more questions right there but in this we just want to set it up first so select setup and it's going to walk you through these four steps Choose the language that you're working with to greet them. This instance here, I'm going to choose English. Hit save and continue. It is picking up. You're going to see a domain name there. If your business page is set up correctly, your domain name should already be there, wherever that goes to. It could go to another website. But in this workshop, we're going to want that chat button to go over to the website that you're that you're using all right so what are we going to do I want you to come up open up the tab for your website right mouse button select copy let's go back to that facebook left mouse button click right mouse button paste copy and paste it in there select save and continue right there is the code that's what you want so right here it just says copy code left mouse button copy it now it's at the clipboard it's in the clipboard so now we, you're going to want to add this okay so i'm going to select next i'm going to keep it there for right now i'm going to keep it right at finish and it tells you where to, where to place it it says put it in the body tag so you're going to come back to the tab that you have your dashboard the dashboard so in your dashboard you're going to come all the way over towards the right and you're going to select put your mouse over site builder come down put your mouse over collections 
Then come down two more and select with your mouse button Site Editor. And open up the Site Editor. This is where you're going to edit the front. This is where you do some work. But we just simply want to add the codes. Right there on the left hand side, it's, it reads Website Settings. I'm going to click with my left mouse button. I'm going to click Third Party Scripts. Left mouse button click. Come down to Body right there. I'm going to click with my left mouse button, select my right mouse button, and I'm going to paste. I'm waiting, it's saying save. It's, it's saying saving. Once I get the green bar, it's been saved. I'm going to click on left. Website settings. I'm, I'm clicking on these and I'm going to go to home page. And I've always done this. I've gone back and I've gone back to the home page right there and I select Publish, and then select OK. So, but you're not seeing it, it's not there yet. So what I want to do is I want to come back to Facebook. I want to select Finish, select Done. Then down here in the right-hand corner, select Publish. All right, now I'm going to come back to the top I'm going to open up my website and I'm just going to reload it. I'm going to refresh. And there in the right hand corner, we're ready to go. And that's how you add the Facebook uh, chat plugin. If you want to do some more editing, do not forget. You can come back into your Facebook here. See, we've already published it. We're back. And you can come into these areas here and you can start adding questions. You can add more questions and such. You can come down right here. You can open it up on the left hand side. You can change the, the bottom spacing, mobile spacing. Do you want to expand it when it's there or you just want to want to hide it? OK, so it would be that when it's on your website in the right hand corner. If you want it to expand when someone opens up your website, that's how it goes. So I hope this has been of help. Uh, give it a try. If you have any other questions, you can contact uh, support and service. We're here to help you. Take care.